Okay, so much like a million other people have asked, I went searching to find out how I can remove all my Google apps that I don't use anymore. Probably just installed once to test it and um, didn't like it, and then it becomes part of the library, and then you end up with a whole bunch of files. Well, I installed this program that's uh, called Nox. Uh, Nox Player, um, top top there, and it says Android 5. Uh, this is probably the only way I know that can um, get rid of this. Is basically on your PC. Is basically install a virtual Android um, device on your PC. And Nox is easy. Um, I looked into quite a few other emulators, uh, virtual um, Android on a PC and a lot of them required installing some sort of um, what would you call like, like its own um, well basically like it's, its own virtual server setup like as if you're installing windows and you're on a virtual set of windows you need to first have virtual memory to install virtual drive uh, virtual files and then install a virtual windows so you can have a second windows on your computer well that's the way we used to do it anyway and um <coughs> so looking through chrome and google and whatnot and the only thing i can find is and we'll get rid of that out of the way the only thing i can find is this here but this only tells you how to get rid of the programs that's added itself to Chrome and they now call it apps which is a pain in the ass because apps are not programs and programs are not apps. A app is something that is just something that's a couple of meg size and it's going to give you easy access functions to something that already exists. A program is something that's going to be installed and it's itself the program. It's not just shortcuts to something. And um, I don't like how Windows has tried to copy Microsoft, uh, tried to copy um, Apple, and calling everything apps when they're not. Anyway, moving along. So the only way I can do it on my PC, and the reason why I want to do it on my PC is because I have mouse control, so I can be more precise. Uh, you'd know yourself that when using your finger, you might want to try and click on something small, and you click on next to it. Or you might be trying to click on an icon and your finger's gone next to it and it goes to a different screen to what you wanted and to get back to where you wanted it could be three or four options to get back there <coughs> and um, ends up being very painful to do a simple thing of removing Google Apps not Google Apps, sorry, Android Apps um, so you can do one by one um, through the Android software but you can't remove all of them to start f a, a clean slate unfortunately but nonetheless this software that you install um, Nox Player um, comes with pre-installed crap um, well it's free so it's easy enough so you want to go to Google Play Store and there's no shortcut for it but it does exist Go to Google Play, search for that. It'll come up with a few lists, obviously. Click on the first one. It might ask you, <coughs> do you want this to be only happen now or always? I got that message, so I selected always. And now that's basically the program that's on my computer right now. So I'm going to go to my apps and I'm going to get to library and you see my apps that are in there so I want to get rid of some apps out of my history I don't want these to be next time I'm looking for an install um, that these are going to be here so we'll get rid of a few of them and so forth and that's the only way you can do it if you're looking at for it like a uh, so you're looking down to get rid of Netflix you go here and you go to Dubai Alphabet so that way you can go through and get through 
So you got don't need two of these here. That's a fun game, but yeah. Anyway, so that's pretty much the way to do it. Um, there is no way through the Google Store, and I'll just bring that over back over to there. So there's no way through the Google Store online through PC. I wish that um, Google would fix that up, but if I went to apps here and I went to my apps, there is nothing other than what it shows here what to do, and that's not for this. I can show you what that does actually. I'll just create another tab. And that's where that brings me to sign in. And basically, what's going to come up is just stuff that would be on your PC, like shortcuts to email, or you know, you want to have shortcuts to different websites, whatever. Um, see, and I can add an extension to Chrome. And I don't want to do that. That's not what this is about. We want to get rid of apps from the library so that's pretty much it that's the only way I can say how to do it on the PC so you've got control with your mouse and be able to go through the list much easier you can even look through apps accidentally clicked on that so this is something my daughter would have installed and we'll go back on that <coughs> because we have multiple Android devices in the house but we all use my account that allows me to monitor everybody being that my kids are getting older I like to know what they're doing and um, have to deal with the rubbish that is in there as well so that's pretty much it that's what I'm gonna get rid of um, right now I'm gonna do this right this three second get rid of all the apps that I no longer want it definitely can be one of the first ones to go. And, um, yeah, I hope this helps. There is no solution. I'm hoping that one day Google does wake up and put some sort of shortcut option in the Play Store for PCs um, where you can choose to have a clean slate or do this. But for now, on PC, this is basically the only option you have and it's what 14th of April 2020 what else do you have to do right now during quarantine eh? plenty of time alright well take care all stay safe don't forget to wash your hands and um yeah hopefully yeah we get on top of this real soon alright cheers guys take care